Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and this video is about the equinox full moon of September 2021. This is the part one video which is the overall interpretation. There's also a part two video which goes into the deeper, very valuable astrological analysis which helps us further and deeper understand the energies. But here's the overall interpretation. This full moon is the energy of the spiritual seeker. Use its energies to connect to the spiritual orientation of your life until the next new moon. Dedicate your life to the pursuit of deeper understanding and looking beyond now. We've all done wrong things. But use the energies of this full moon to resolve from now on to learn from these and from now on to do better, to make things better. Don't let this full moon be a fool's paradise now. Instead, use it to quarry deep and vibrant spiritual insight and illumination some wonderful, grounded, new vision path now. Stay grounded now. Check out what you are really feeling. Connect to your real emotions. Recognise that there are background energies of great fear and frustration at this time and don't be sucked into these. Just recognise them. Realise also that they will all actually get worse as the rest of this year progresses. Here's the list of the background energies, but also try to please bear in mind the key overall interpretation of the energies I've just given. But in the background, there's the omnipresent Uranus square Saturn that has its next exact on December the 24th. This is force of revolution pitting itself against blocks and repressive structures, personally and at the level of countries that we're in. There's the omnipresent, ever-rising, Pluto return of the United States, Pluto in the heavens returning to the position Pluto occupied at the moment the United States was born. And this has its first exact hit in May 2023, up to and beyond which time so much darkness must arise, ideally to be healed at the personal level and also at the level of the countries we live in. And this full moon can make a big contribution to how we can understand and manage for our greater empowerment, this Pluto return. There's also the energy of Pluto and Saturn both transiting in Vedic Capricorn, power of Pluto smashing against blocks of Saturn. There's the energy of Rahu aspecting Saturn in the heavens, fear and tension. Lastly, I would point out that Jupiter's just re-entered Vedic Capricorn. Jupiter is debilitated and so will not so easily be able to implement the plans and the inspiration we know we need to. So, take steps to remedy and amplify your connection to Jupiter's expansion and blessing and sense of purpose now. This full moon can be such a guidance to your inspiration and on the basis of that amplify Jupiter energy and take the needed big leap of faith and master the needed discipline and strategy to make the right progress now. Get a reading from me about how you can do this. Go to my Star Wheel Astrology by page to see the positions of the planets in 
uh, September 2021, go to the September 21 page of my Star Wheel Astrology website. To buy a reading, go to the buy page of my Star Wheel Astrology website. And to see the chart aspect shapes and the deeper analysis, go to the blog that accompanies this two-part video. I look forward to working with you. This is a very exciting full moon. Thank you.